If you know anything about Baja Bugs, then you probably know that super beetles are no good for off-road. Well, we here at Dust Buggy Garage take a different approach. For over a year now, Spencer and I have been quietly designing and fabricating our very own lift spindles for super beetles. The most immediate benefit we would get is four more inches of ground clearance, as well as replacing the weaker stock bearing with an upgraded combo bearing and spindle. Basically, that's fancy talk for we can go over shit a lot faster. Taking a look at this photo really gives you an idea of what we're doing here. We're just moving the wheelbase lower. So without further ado, let's get into the build video so we can transform her from this into this. <sighs> uh, so getting the spindle off is a real pain in the dick. When I said it was a pain to do this, Where's all the, um, I meant it. Wow, that's all it took. <laughs> See what it should actually look like. Something like that, hopefully. <laughs> That's dope. Custom combo spindles. <laughs> That's what you do when you use penetrating oil. Sit and wait, drink a beer. Took a bit of hammering. Oh shit. <laughs> but there she is. Finally! Oh. Woohoo! And look, you can see it's soaked through almost all the way around with penetrating oil. Uh. Um, this probably took about 15 minutes worth of hammering and penetrating oil and heat uh, oh. twice until it's flaming and then when you blow out the flames it's steaming. Flaming.
<laughs> Someone looks super happy. Look at those beefy guys. Mm -hmm. Are you good in there? Yes. So right now we are making brake lines that will match our new spindles for height and length. And they'll replace the old rubber line, so hopefully give us a little bit more push on the pedal. And uh yeah. So the front brake will sit something like this once we get the uh once I get my union on there and and make a tab to hold this. That way when the shot comes and travels up, this wire can kind of like come up into the space where my arm is. I'll sit right there. That looks yeah. like a fabulously comfortable seat. Actually, it's really not bad. <laughs> I'm sure after 30 minutes it would suck, but right now it's like... Uh, 30 seconds. <laughs> Wide five. It's pretty comfy. <laughs> I'm having trouble with this. <laughs> How many years have you been doing these things? This is this is wrong size here. Can, can you grab me the right size over there? <laughs> well, <laughs> what size? I just had to try hard enough. Alright. Now it goes in like a dream. <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't have to force things. Something like that. Mm. Sweep it right around here. So much brake line. <laughs> yeah, lots of brake line. Okay. So here we have the drag link, um, which we've just actually done the uh, brass bushing on the idler arm, so that's going to help us too. But the drag link, um, we've added a double shear for the heim joint there. Um, so we took the drag link and drilled it out for half inch and we put spacers in our heim there to match half inch and made it a through bolt and as you see I still have to put a nut on that one. So right now Spencer's taking off our old crappy brake line installing the new braided one he made. But also you guys are oh my good. Nice. Something like that. So that's too fucking. No, I don't like that. I'm gonna have to un un and redo that because it's kind of binding. So now Spence is going to take the wheels off, and then we begin the very fun job of bleeding the brakes. Yep. Mm. 
fingers crossed it goes okay. <laughs> so now the calipers have should fluid be, in them. Yeah, should be full now. <laughs> Still have to bleed them a little bit. Yeah. Oh, there. Something's happening. When you say stop, do you want me to leave it at the top of its stroke? Just let it out. Okay. Just keep pumping it? You let it out. You want to look at it? Yeah. See, the pads are almost there. Gotcha. So now, because you pumped it a few times now, let out. Air and then fluid. Did you see that? Uh huh. It was air first, then fluid. So you're letting out the air, little increments. Then when fluid comes out, you're shutting it. Then yeah. we'll pump it again. Because I don't have a clear hose right now. Yeah. So you can see this side. Air, fluid. Hmm. Put the camera. Okay. Also, don't forget to top up your fluid, you guys. Yeah. Doing this, or else it will be undone. So pump it. Yep. Yeah. There's no more play now. Okay. That's good. I'm gonna have to crack it loose again. So here, take your phone. Huh? <laughs> that sounded like something was happening. Press the brake and hold it. Yeah, that stops. Uh, check the other side out. Press it and hold it. Wait. Okay. Yeah, it's holding. Nice. So. Uh, I'm only like halfway compressed on the pedal too. Huh. Yeah. Like, uh. Is the pedal like? Does it feel semi-firm now? Oh yeah. Like I can push it down, but like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Off. And when I say press it, you have to be very fast. Okay. Press it. Let off. Press it. Okay, yeah, that's working. Uh, I am glad that we got that done. Time yeah. for brake line mounting brackets. Ooh. But first, I'm going to see if I can get a little brake the brake fluid off the floor. Uh. So Spencer's making a template now so that he can see exactly how he's going to want his bracket to be. All right, you guys. Let's see what Spence has been working on. Mm. Very cool. Just a little bracket. Little bracket. bracket. So help me measure again. <laughs> For the 40 bajillion time. <laughs> oh, not even the 10. <laughs> Alignment issues. I mean, parties. <laughs> Are they different? 53 and a quarter there. Two the back side. Ah! Give me. <laughs> That's okay until we get to the alignment shop. I got a lovely shot of your crotch. Alright, you guys. It's another Saturday, which means it's another day. Another opportunity to work on the bug. And what are we doing right now, Spencer? Uh, we're going to get lug nuts. Lug nuts so we can actually... Turn Test this thing these around. babies out. <laughs> well, we gotta turn it around first, then we gotta lift the rear end. Yeah, away. by we test them out, I mean lightly, gently drive on the street around the block so we can turn the car around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. There's the log. 
And this is how she looks. <laughs> looks like we <laughs> didn't even take her off the jack stands at all. <laughs> Let's see. Damn sun is out, so we need to get a good view. Yeah, that's a lot more clearance. Let's get a measurement on this bad boy. Also push down on her like you were. Ah! Already bottoming out at the suspension. <laughs> Let's measure the rear first and see pretty much where the, I mean this is close enough. It's a little bit higher than it would be because the front's jacked up, but to the chassis, we'll say, it's 12 and a half inches. Mm. Yeah. All right, so just over a foot. And now... <laughs> Let's go to the front. It's close to the rear. Just behind the front wheel. That way we're getting the most accurate measurement. So, here we get 16 and a half inches. <laughs> 16 and a <coughs> half inches of clearance. Wow. So that's a four inch lift. So like, for reference, uh, that's my leg. Like, so, ah! we, so like we've scraped here before I can see. That's not going to happen again. Uh, hopefully not. If it does, holy crap, what are we going over? <laughs> like a Jeep. Uh, I know, right? Look, look at Spencer in relation to how... Uh, <laughs> looks pretty good. Oh yeah. Look at the wheel clearance. Up here to the fender. <laughs> oh, hello. Deep. I got leaky, leaky. Uh-oh. Where's my leaky coming from? <laughs> Jesus. You got chalks behind me, so you want me to move up? <laughs> What you guys think about that, huh? <laughs> That's pretty cool for a super beetle. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited for this thing. <laughs> How excited are you? I'm pretty excited. Ah! <laughs> Dude, so right now, if you look at the bug from here, the bug is level. 
Ah! And the driveway is not. Wow. I got a good view from here. This wheel is a good, like, oh my god, it looks like half a foot. Uh, almost. It almost is, huh? <laughs> Four inches. Yeah, it almost is half a foot. Jeez. Now Spence has turned it around because he's got to do the rest, the that rear end. Wow. I think the right side a little lower. The curve of the driveway, perhaps. So that's a one, huh? Yeah, I made a little tool. Sorry, I'm having Where's your tool? Right Shut up, Alexa. Let's try a little later. No, damn it. Alexa, pause. This will take a minute anyway. Press the like button if you hate Alexa. <laughs> You're going to show us the tool? Uh, yeah, but it's going to take a few minutes. So people know how to do this. They should. Spencer's gonna show us how he uses this tool to be made. Pretty simple tool. You could probably buy them. I just decided to make one. It's here, so. I just got my Zerk fitting and a bolt on a piece of plate that I cut on the bandsaw. I just put that through like that. Put my top plate on my rubber ring washer and that and a three quarter inch wrench on there just hand tight that's my CV pack and sandwich wow <laughs> that's pretty cool And it takes a while, but mm. 80 to 100 pumps. Mm. That's just a guess. You'll know it's done when it starts to squeeze out the side. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta put the hardware in. Uh, yeah, that's kind of important. Yeah. Uh, ew. Uh. <laughs> After quite a few hours and three trash cans full of paper towels. <laughs> Yep. Finally putting the CV axles in. If I get rid of these trailer wheels and get more spun aluminum wheels, it won't matter. Now these things are heavy as shit. Three. Yeah. 
We're about to see what she looks like. Oh my god, look at how, like, tall the front is. <laughs> she's still, like, parallel, and she's on a driveway. Uh! We're about to see how much clearance we have in the back. <laughs> to the very bottom of the pan, in the passenger section, you got about 14 inches. In the rear, it's gonna be like six and up more front, more. Up front, we got about 16 inches. Wow. The very tail. No, I mean, wheels, the wheel brakes. Oh, well, those are only as high as the tire. I'll get them. Those are tucked away. 16 inch in the front, 14 in the rear. There it is, all put together, you guys. No, <laughs> I can't stop smiling right now. <laughs> Someone else who can't stop smiling either. <laughs> it's freaking tall. I know, right? <laughs> Always with the bump star. Spencer's dad is not amused <laughs> by our antics. <laughs> to build. 